Hi Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this really pretty card. Um, to make this card I used a new stamp set I got. Positive Thoughts. I've seen so many pretty cards on Pinterest with this stamp set and I thought oh I'll get that. And this is the result. This is two or three cards all rolled into one. And I just like the way it's come out. So I'm using that, Positive Thoughts. For the background I'm using Hardwood. A retired stamp set I know, but I like it. And Butterfly Gala. Just for the thank you so very much. That's because there's a butterfly on it. Right, I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. A piece of seaside spray and this is five and three eighths by three and five eighths. A bit smaller than normal but I wanted a, a wider white border around the edge. And I've also got this at the sweetly stitched dies, I think that's what they're called. And this is number three out of the six rectangle dies. And that will go on there. We need a scrap, which I've got here. Oh, look at that. Mm. What else have I got? I'm sure I'll find another bit of scrap. I need some scrap anyway to stamp these on. Right, I have already stamped and cut out these elements. I haven't coloured the butterfly. But I will stamp them again because I will make another one off camera. So they're already cut out so you don't have to sit and watch me cut them out. Uh, right, let's get started. First we'll do the background on here so I've got the stamp and I've got seaside spray just ink that up and with my this card, I am just going to sit that on top and rub it all over. That's quite like that. It's quite nice. Let's just clean this. I need to put it away because I don't want this big blot all over the table. Getting in the way. Put that out of the way. Right. I need that. Right, we're going to stamp out our bits. So for the flower, I did that in seaside spray. That a lovely flower. I do like it. Um, Then, what have we got? Finish with that. Alright. Smoky Slate. This is for the feather. And we want one of them. Mm. 
and that's all we use that for. Then we've got Pretty Peacock, which is a bit of a mess. And this is for this leaf. And we stamp that down there. Like that. And we'll clean that off because we're going to use that leaf one again. Um, what else? Oh, the butterfly. Um, what colour? I didn't bring crumb cake. Hang on, let me get some crumb cake. I'm slowly switching over to all these new inks. I'm finding them a bit dark though, especially this crumb cake. Right. Now that looks more like. Oh, I wasn't going to do that. Right. And there's the second. Now that's lighter than crumb cake and that's darker than crumb cake. It's weird. Yep, I'm finding them all darker. Right. I need old olive next, but first, colour this butterfly in. All I did was just colour it in. Oh, and I'm using Calypso Coral. Clips of coral light. Right, let's colour this one in while we're at it. And then with Calypso Coral Dark, I just did the edges here. And then a little bit by the body. And that's all I've done for the butterflies. It looks quite all right, doesn't it? Oh, hope you can see it. It's under a really strong light. Um, yeah. So that's the butterfly. So then you'd go away and cut them out. But I'll keep them and I'll make another card with them. So I'll just shove that in there. Right then. With your rectangle. Let's do that that way because there's a mark. Oh, it's gone. Um, your leaves and your old olive. Gonna ink it up really well. And I can't remember what I did. Oh, yeah. I stamped this. And then I stamped off and stamped off and then came down a bit more and stamped. That's all I did, just like that. Can you see? Just to give it a little bit of a background. 
clean that off. Then that will be glued on there, like that. So let's put this card together. Oh, never did the sentiment. We'll put this on first. All right, this has got a wider border all the way round. Some reason I cannot get this on straight and even. And then this will place in the middle. glue a minute because we've got to stamp the sentiment and with that we're using pretty peacock I scrap some white. At the right size, yeah. I'll keep all my scraps like this in here. This bit of scrap is just what I cut off the end when I cut out my uh, white layers. That's nice. Right. And that will sit there with a flower on but on dimensionals so I'm gonna cut that up there yep so that bit is two and a quarter long by an inch that's for the sentiment So now we need our dimensionals. And so we're going to get sticking these down now, like this one. There. And then we need dimensionals on this little one oops it's better One there, 
we get a big one here. Yep, can't see it. Right, I'm going to cut that in half. Place that there and place this other half just there. Can you see that? That's better. Right, and that is going to sit like that there. So let's take all the backings off. Just drop my pokey tool. When I made the first card, I put the sentiment on first and then happened to get lifting it up again to get things underneath it. So that like that at an angle and then the feather went oh yeah it covered that up so we don't need we just need a dimensional at the bottom of this and a little bit of glue at the top and a butterfly we just bring up the wings glue the body and place it down in the corner now what I did do was pop a dimensional under each wing So they stood up. Because you know when you put it in an envelope, they go flat. And I don't want them flat. But if you stick the body down first, and then put the dimensionals on, it um, does lift them up. Right now then, I'll take the backings off of our sentiment and place that just there and our flower, like this one will go just there so we need a dimensional now I'm going to put a little one there that's it like that so I'm going to glue just put some glue there Keep it away from the S. Yes. That's it. Right, all we've got to do now is add some gems. Let's I'm going to put two on the body. Now I'm adding glue because I find that sometimes these don't stick, stay on. I 
I think it's something to do with my central heating. I actually put three on his body. And then we're going to put four around the card. So wherever I've got a little blob of glue, I will stick on the gem where I can and don't stick to my finger. There we are. And that's our very pretty card done. Well, I think it's pretty. Hope you do too. If you do and you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.